Hi, it's Mike Stevenson here. Um, welcome to this video in the series about comparing the different technologies within the Azure Integration Services platform. Today, we're going to talk about Service Bus and Event Hub. So Service Bus and Event Hub have both been around for quite a long time on Azure. Um, I'm going to call out an article up here that I've um, got. You can see it was from 2015, which um, I wrote um, comparing the two technologies. I think in a lot of ways you could argue they're very similar today um, as they were back then. I mean, obviously there's new features and enhancements, but conceptually the, the discussions are all um, similar to what they were back then. Now, if we think of the target audience for the two products, this really sort of positions them very well as to what the difference is. So with Service Bus, you would use Service Bus if I need a reliable, durable message broker, whereas Event Hub, I need a real-time ingestion stream of millions of events from multiple sources. So they're the kind of, the, the two sort of elevator pitch differences of what these two products are about. Now, if we dig a bit deeper into exploring what that means, so with things like um, Service Bus, your core key use cases are going to be you want durable messaging, so you want to be able to reliably send a message, have it saved somewhere so somebody can come along and pick it up later. Um, pub subs capable on service bus as well, so you can send a message once and you can receive a message to multiple different systems. Now, while Event Hub's focused on an event stream concept, so that means I have a series of messages that have been added to the stream. I can read them. You can um, you can do receive as that receive um, messages like this, the same message. So you can kind of get a bit of a pub sub, but it's more that you receive everything. I guess it's a bit more far out than, than pub sub really. Um, but that concept of multiple people getting the messages common with Service Bus. Um, the messages are durable as well in that they're saved on the stream, but we'll talk a little bit later about there's some differences in how long they're, they're persisted for and um, how they're removed from the stream versus with Service Bus. Now, if we start thinking about the key differences between the technologies, so the terminology is um, the biggest difference. So here, um, I've actually got a mistake here. I've just realized in my slide, um, right, so I love my handwriting's terrible there with this pen. Hope you can read that. So, the key terminology difference is with Service Bus, um, typically it's a command to do something, so process order or um, invoice or something like that you'll you'll have a message which you want to do something with it or it'll be a request to do something um, or to get something with event hub the messages are more likely to indicate that something's happened so it'll be a telemetry type message saying you know some some bit of data was published in your plant or something like that um service bus we're really looking at typical transactional processing so we would say something like orders being created, a message would go on to service bus, people would come and get their their message to tell them that an order's been created and to do something with it. So you'd go and create an order in, in the, you know, maybe it gets created in your order system, you'd go and replicate that order through your CRM system or something like that. The um on service bus, so you've got these concepts here of how you receive a message. So typically you would either peek the message, do something with it, then delete it when you've successfully processed the message, or you would read and delete it at the same time. So there's a couple of differences there, depending on whether you want, um, you know, that reliability of, of the message being kept until you've successfully processed it. The, um, the event hub's different in this way. So the idea on the event hub is that you can reread the stream from a point in time. So with Service Bus, a message goes on a queue, you pick it up, you process it, you delete it, then it's gone. You can't get it back. You can't reprocess it once it's been acknowledged. With Event Hub, the, the difference is you can wind back in your processing of the stream. So you start at position one, 
read through, I could go back to an hour ago and reprocess messages. That That's a fundamental difference between the two. Now, we mentioned PubSub before, so with PubSub, I can send a message to a topic. It would be subscribed by uh, multiple subscribers, so you've got rules around how you would... Um, who would get what message. So let's say we've got two receivers. You could say if the message came from system A, then receiver one gets it. If it came from system B, receiver two gets it, something like that. You can you can have root and rules about how you who, who gets what message. With Event Hub, um, it's different. So you have con, uh, concurrent readers. So you would have a consumer group for each reader. They would read the stream and then they would um, they would get all of the messages from the stream. Now, one of the um, one of the features on Event Hub here that's different is we've got this capture feature. So this is where if you want to be able to archive messages or get them into a data lake, you can configure the Event Hub so that all the messages on the on the hub get rare, uh, get automatically saved into a storage account, which you can then use for ingestion into something like a data lake for Synapse. Or you could use it just to archive all of your messages. So that's quite a good feature. You don't really have that auto archiving on Service Bus. Um, now there's a couple of feature supports that are different. So in Event Hub, we've got support for Kafka. In Service Bus, we've got support for GMS. So they would support common ecosystems who like the technology. So under the hood, it's going to be Azure Service Bus or event hub but you would interact with it either through kafka libraries or through gms libraries um i think we've mentioned this one already so one of the key differences about how messages are removed so with event hub over here messages would stay on the hub until you get to the retention period so let's say you've configured it for seven days Messages would stay there and you can reread them as many times as you like and then you'll hit your retention period and then they'll be eventually removed and you won't be able to read them again. With Service Bus, the difference is you remove the message. So when you when you confirm that you've processed it, you would execute a delete command that removes the message or you can configure a time to live and when they expire, they'll be removed. So they're the two key differences there. That really means that a service bus could have a message for as long as you like, really, and unless it has a time to live that hits. Um, there's a couple of features that Event Hub doesn't have as well. So with service bus, you've got this idea of message sessions here. So a message session might be a series of related messages where I can open a receiver and receive multiple messages that are part of the same session, or as a sender, I can see Here's an ID that indicates these 10 messages are related to each other and you would want to process them as, as a session. Um, Service Bus also has dead letter messages. So if you, um, if you receive a message and you can't process it, you can retry multiple times. If you exhaust your retries, the message can be dead lettered, which basically puts it to one side. You can come along later and you can either process the dead letter queue or move them back to the main queue. So that idea of when you've got errors, you can kind of have a, an error handling pattern there. Now, Event Hub's different. It doesn't really support that concept. So you would read them. If you had an error process in an event, then it's really up to you what to do. So you can either ignore it and keep going or you can save it somewhere, maybe you save it to a storage account or something like that. Um, but Event Hub out of the box doesn't really support any dead letter concept or or um, kind of automatic reprocessing. You, you know, you can reread the stream from a point in time, but you're going to reread all of the messages, not just the ones that failed. Now, in terms of overlaps, so the sender receiver concept is the same whether you call it publish event publisher event receiver whatever you term but the, the fact you've got somebody puts something on the event hub or the service bus and somebody will take something off it or, or receive the data from it um we have the fan out concept so um service bus would implement a fan out pattern via pub sub where it would just be a rule of something like one equals one so everybody gets the message Event Hub is really fan out by default, so 
every consumer group would read the stream you get all of the messages the big difference is the, the pub sub on event hub you can't really do because you can't really do any kind of routing um the other concepts the same they both typically would um would be interacted with via an emqp protocol so you're probably using the library that would implement emqp in terms of pricing the um the service bus has two so you really pay either per message or per hour if you're on premium and there's a big price difference there depending on what scale of messages you have and, and what kind of throughput and reliability you need um the event hub is per hour per throughput unit so there's a number of different SKUs. some of the smaller SKUs you would also pay a, a per message charge whereas the bigger ones it's more about the, the throughput unit charge now if we have a look um i this, this is a diagram from that blog post that i mentioned and, and i always like this diagram um actually sort of side note this diagram actually came from my certainly the one on the left the service bus one originally came from my rabbit mq course that i designed I'd, I'd used a couple of images to help in that but the the concept of um topic receiver is um is really common across message brokers here so we've got this idea of somebody sends a message a topic then has some rules here so it could be a fan out rule it could be a if the if the message um has this label on it send it here so you would then publish from a topic to a queue and you would have receivers on the queue now there are a few other flavors of how you can do this you can send to a queue directly you can receive from subscriptions on the topic or forward the queues but regardless the, the fundamentals are the same you have somebody sends a message to service bus you can route it to different places you receive from a queue the um the event hub's different so we've got the senders here now in service bus you can have multiple senders just to avoid confusion you could have multiple senders to the same topic absolutely but on the event hub we've got these people adding data to the stream and then these consumer groups here so let's say my you know i've got a console application that uses a consumer group and I basically have this pointer to the stream. So let's say I start here at message one. I would, excuse me, I would start reading across the stream till I get to the most recent message. And then I would just sit there and as new messages came on the stream, I would read them and process them. So that idea of um, of the stream versus the queue is really the, the underlying important thing. So the message queue, you'll receive a message and then it's gone stream you just move forward along the, the stream of messages and then you can go back and reprocess if you want to okay so next up let's have a look at our diagram from one of the slides we commonly use to show the differences of where we've used these so this is a good slide from one of our integrations and you can see here we've got service bus here and here and we've got event hub over here so the reason we chose to use event hub here is we've got this data coming in from the plant and it's being streamed from the systems in the plant to the event hub we get large bursts of events getting ingested we um we just basically add them to the stream and then we can choose what we're going to do with them after that so that's a really easy way to have the systems in our plant integrated so that their events just get saved somewhere nice and easy for us to integrate with and our integration platform can do whatever with them now i said in a previous video how we used a function to um to process that event hub and what we did was we actually forwarded a lot of our messages to service bus topics so here we can do the pub sub pattern to integrate with other other interfaces so we can see if the messages are tight where it's telling us about the electricity usage in the plant this interface might care about it if it was a message telling us that a rail car got loaded this interface would trigger so that's why we preferred um we preferred service bus for this pub sub capability now i guess one of the things you could argue is maybe the um maybe the plant could have talked direct to service bus if if it supports the amqp protocol possibly we could have done that um 
the the reason we didn't is that the product that gets used in the plant has a native connector for um for event hub um we didn't really have the kind of the ability to go in and change that connector in any way or, or it wasn't supported for service bus so it was really intended for um event hub. but also the other thing is it's that it's not just the pub sub it's the ingestion at high scale so we can we can control the process and coming uh, through the function here about how quick we process these events but in the plant we can just have huge bursts of load hitting the event hub and we can just scale it accordingly and then we can we can publish it at a rate that we know we're okay for the service bus and then we can pub sub it and um, and kind of go from there now i think um that was really the design choices we made certainly there was a time element you know this bit over here was built a lot sooner than this um and there was some feature differences and that kind of thing but i think the the concept of the plant streaming loads of data out fits really well with the vent hub we you know the other thing is we could have other listeners later maybe if we wanted here doing other stuff with these events say you know we had a third party product comes in and wants to process all the data or something like that they can just read the stream if they want but for our transactional interfaces to other systems it made a lot of sense to put them on the service bus because we didn't certainly one of the things we didn't want was having all these different interfaces all processing the event hub because a lot of the time they would get messages they didn't care about which is where service bus kind of handles a lot of that by doing the root and rules um thank you for listening to today's video um i hope people found this useful um, discussing service bus and event hub It'd be really interesting to get comments about what you like people who might have um, other opinions on how they've implemented these technologies what choices did you make um did you have any different experiences that kind of thing um thanks for listening to the series and hope you're enjoying it take care